Hello, this is Dr. Gandhi. Welcome to my video on how to use the select case method to design a user defined function in Microsoft Excel. So I have here in this worksheet fictitious data. I have an ID variable and a score variable. And I want to return the grade in this grade variable that corresponds to the various scores in the score variable. Now there are many ways I can do this, but I'm going to show you how to do this using a user defined function and specifically one that uses the select case method. So I have this table to the right here of the main table that has the criteria for grades, right? So points less than 60, uh, that's an F. Greater or equal to 90 would be an A. And you can see the other ranges here for D, C, and B. So to get started building my user defined function, I'm going to press Alt F11, which is going to open up the VBA editor. And you can see that I have a module that's already in here, module one. If there wasn't a module already in here, you just go to insert module. And it'll bring it to the same place. And I'm going to start building my function right in this module. All right, so I'll start with function and grade. I'm going to use all caps for that. And I'm going to need a parameter for grade. Uh, namely, I'm going to need the actual raw score. So I'm going to call that x, and I'm going to declare that as double, and grade as a string. And once I do that, you can see it gives me the end function already. So I have function grade x is double as string, end function, and now I'm going to put code in the in the function that will return the corresponding grade. So what I want this function to do is to examine the value x, that's the raw score, and return the corresponding grade. So I'm going to use select case. So I'm going to start with select case x. And before I get too far into this, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and put the end select. So now I'm just going to be working in the middle here between select case X and end select for this function. So first I want to look at case is less than 60. And you might remember this would be the grade of F. So what we'll do is have grade equal F in quotation marks. Now you see I used uppercase for the function but I typed this in lowercase. When I hit enter it's going to correct that. So the next case would be if the score is less than 70 which would be 60 through 69. So it would be case is less than 70 and again grade equals D. Next case would be less than 80 and again grade equals C and for B we want cases less than 90 that's grade equals B and then for the final case for the grade of A we'll go with case is greater or equal to 90 and then that'll be grade equals A. So now we've covered every possibility for any particular value of X. 
right? It's either going to be less than 60, less than 70, less than 80, less than 90, or greater or equal to 90. It's got to fall uh, in this range. This covers really all possibilities. So if I go back to, remember the name of this is grade, so I go back to the worksheet. I can use this just as I would use any other Excel function. So I'll start with an equal sign and I'll start typing grade and it'll come right up. You can see it looks just like a function that came with Excel. So I'll hit tab, right? that'll auto-complete that to grade. And remember grade takes one argument or parameter and that's the score. So I'll put that in and you can see here 85 it's giving me a B and that is correct. So if I autofill this all the way down, it'll give me the scores, the grades, corresponding to all the scores. And what I like to do with use defined functions like this that use select cases, I want to test them out. So I'm just going to test them out using this first example. If somebody scored a 55, I would expect that to return F. It does. A 60, I would expect a D. All right, that works. Uh, 72, I would expect a C. Say 86, I would expect a B. And 90 and A. So just some examples I like to test to make sure it is operating as it's supposed to. So again, just moving back to the code. So you have a function, name it. You specify the argument that is required for this function. And then this particular, with this particular function, the grade is a string. So I put that in. Then you have select case x and select at the end. And then case is for all the different possibilities for x. And then, of course, at the very end, you want to make sure you have end function. So this is a good example of how to use the select case in a user-defined function to save a lot of time and generally to be efficient in grading, in this case, in, in looking at a score and assigning a grade corresponding to that score. I hope you found this video on using the select case method in a user find function to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.